So I wasn't even meant to come out this morning for any exercise or anything. Um, I'll bring the camera out with me, you know. But uh, woke up, looked out the window, and we had fog. And uh, I just can't deny fog. I always have to give it a chance, you know. So I don't know what to expect for the for the photography, at least in this video. But I mean, it's looking good. It's looking really nice. Very, very foggy. Um, I've come out for my walk in a place called Wharton Crag where I have been here recently but it's very vast, it's big and it looks completely different in the fog. Oh, it's really steep as well, <laughs> I'm shattered. Um, but I think the photography is going to be interesting today. Still handheld of course, um, Nikon D7200 but it's going to be interesting because I feel like every time I've been out shooting handheld recently it's been quite bright out and about which means the settings have been pretty much you know no big deal um whereas today because we haven't got a tripod of course i feel like i'm gonna have to be increasing the iso and stuff which is absolutely fine but you know a little bit more interest is going to be a bit more thought going into my iso my aperture my shutter speed that sort of thing oh this is cool guys it feels really promising so let's get the steps in the watch is under here somewhere i promise uh, and see what we can find by the way I love this GoPro, but I know they're notoriously not the best once you take them into low light, so apologies, apologies if the video quality isn't up to scratch, but <sighs> let's go and see what we can find. <laughs> So I'm actually, I've got the camera already. If you look at that there, um, uh, I feel like this happens all the time. I feel like it's quite a natural thing as a landscape photographer, but this is the path obviously here. Um, I've been walking in between these two beautiful green mossy stone walls. And it's just a scene that kind of has presented itself to me. It's not even like I'm kind of necessarily looking for compositions. Like I've only just got here. But yeah, the way this, this one tree is kind of leaning to the left, slightly and then obviously the path is leading us deeper into the woodland and into that fog um, and all these i don't know uh, if anybody knows what these are exactly the with the sort of orange rusty um sort of leaves are they like beech saplings i'm not sure but they're really nice and obviously in that direction i suppose this whole woodland they're just kind of scattered around everywhere um so d7200 and it literally is pretty much that scene that you can kind of see there you know um, so I'm going to shoot nice and wide, as always, I'm going to zoom one third of the way into the image, get the focus locked in and that'll do me. Um, I've, since I've been shooting handheld and actually showing you how I focus, I realise I, I do that pretty much all the time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to keep it at 16 mil and just kind of like that, I really like that scene, you know. So I'm going to keep it at f11 regardless of what my ISO goes up to, I think, unless it gets crazy. Oh, we're getting crazy. Oh, it is dark. Right. So let's go F7.1. Um, I'm going to push the shutter speed to 1 13th. I don't want to go any more than that. Let's go to F. Yeah, F7.1. I don't want to go any. Uh, don't, I don't want it any wider than that, really. And let's get the ISO down. ISO 800. There we go. So. Let's think about the composition a little bit more. I quite like that, just as it is there, yeah. That's cool. So the focus is locked in. Uh, just the top third of the fogginess. <laughs> um, there we go, let's see how that looks. Oh, that's lovely. Histogram spot on. I'm just going to have a quick zoom in and check my focus. That looks absolutely fine by me. So yeah, nice one to start off the day. And again, just undeniable. <laughs> um, oh, I really hope this fog sticks around. This is really beautiful. We could be onto a smashing, smashing morning. And really good for you guys to see, you know. Get the ISO increased if you're shooting handheld. It's going to be absolutely fine, especially when you're not getting up to like, you know, ISO 1600 or something like that. What I would suggest is figure out what works for your camera. Do a few tests at home. See how far you can push it. For me, it is probably ISO 3200. Um, you know, obviously it can go higher than that, but I, I'll try and avoid going higher than ISO 3200 if I can help it. But, with that being said, I'd rather get the shot with a high ISO than not get the shot at all, you know what I mean? Right, let's crack on. 
So we're stopping again already, guys. I, do, I don't know if it's going to be a morning of stopping and starting or what, or if we're going to get millions of photographs, but it is what it is. This is live. I don't know what's going on here. Um, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's full of just undeniable scenes. Um, you know, if you watch me regularly, how much I love the fog. All landscape photographers love the fog, I think. <laughs> I've, never, I've never met one that doesn't. Um, it's beautiful. You know, it's an absolute playground. So again, all you see in here before I even take the shot is the scene, really. So my only problems really are the left and right. Uh, so here, it's a bit messy, you can see. Uh, so I'm trying to cut the composition on the right hand side about here. And then same on the left hand side, um, you can see, I think it's this tree here is a little bit distracting, but I can't, I, I need a compromise. I suppose I could shoot it as a square crop. Maybe I'll try that when I get home, but um, I've got to have this tree in. One good thing is at least it's leaning to the left. It's, it's you know, kind of forcing the eye to come back into the composition and up towards the fog and the gate and, you know, the important parts of the image, the things that kind of caught my eye in the first place. So let's grab the shot. Um, I've got it on bracket in here, actually, um, just because, I mean, you can see there, look, really bright there, really dark down here. So I need to be careful that I don't overexpose here and I don't underexpose here. Um, so I'm bracketing in a way that I get one shot that's kind of the base, <laughs> the base exposure, and then two underneath, so two darker ones. Uh, to, again, just to make sure that I don't overexpose that bright area at the top. So, uh, again, first things first, for me, focus, nice and simple here, focusing on that wall, you know, that, that's the main, um, that's the main component of this photograph, that wall. So, as long as that's in focus, I'm not bothered about anything else, it's not like the background's going to be sharp anyway, we've got fog. So, f7.1, same as before, one thirteenth of a second, and I'm just knocking it down to ISO. 640 i'm going to get everything off the screen like that so we could see what we're photographing and again just want to make sure i don't get any or too much of this messing on the right hand side oh this is so nice so i'm actually going to zoom out a little bit um well i'm already at 16 mil so that i'll have to do i love the the dampness you know these these are my favorite conditions in the whole world and um, that's why i love the lake district snowdonia scotland i love the rain uh, these actually let's grab this shot now so one shot again we're we're manually exposure bracket in here or handheld sorry so i have to try and keep as still as possible lovely so the histograms look really cool on that one um but yeah i love these mornings when it's still there's no wind um not even necessarily just the fog that's a bonus but when you get like uh, it's raining i don't know if you can see down there um as the rain's coming down it is just oh there's something about it you know especially this time of year when it's quite cool out lovely so this is um quite a lucrative morning um on, on this this exercise let's crack on i want to get a few more steps in and not be so stop starty but let's crack on guys let's crack on quick one um i think that'll do it just love that boulder off in the background you know and obviously the nice mossy wall living the dream really are this is a stunner so it's probably really dark now guys um and i'll show you why <laughs> So again, apologies if the, the video quality is not up to scratch. It was probably all right at the start of the video, but we've come into this little coniferous area of the woodland here. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the GoPro, but it's just beautiful. And what I, I'm going to take a sh stop here and take a shot. What I want to work with are um, kind of play with the highlights and shadows a little bit. So hopefully you can see in the background. Um, it is really foggy off in the distance and I want to take some shots that are really exposed for the highlights as I normally would I suppose uh, but not care too much if the shadows are really dark because I mean I'm looking at it now that's kind of what makes it you know it's really gloomy and it brings up uh, it conjures up these kind of emotions uh, that I really want to try and capture in the photograph like always um, 
So this is going to be a bit of a challenge, not to mention the settings. I don't know what's going to go on with the ISO and stuff here, but we'll see. Firstly, composition. Right, so I've had to come away from the little coniferous area of the woodland, which was kind of over in that direction. I just couldn't make it work. Um, I couldn't find a composition that was neat and tidy. And most importantly, I don't, I, I couldn't get the emotion across of what I was feeling when I was stood there. So I had to just walk away from it, to be honest. But I found, fortunately, this wonderful little scene here. Um, so you can see here, we've got a few of these little rocks scattered about, um, or oh, I suppose these are erratics, aren't they? There's one here one there and then there's one kind of in the middle so that from that tree to over there is pretty much my composition and what i love here is this kind of faint pathway that's arching round and it eventually leads up to that kind of rock up there um and then the puddles the pu that is a loud raven off in the background I don't know if you can hear that if it's even a raven <laughs> um yeah the puddles are fantastic as well they're giving us two things firstly reflections is amazing but then because we're getting these water droplets falling down it's another element in the image that's going to be helping to tell the story of this damp morning you know of course you can tell by looking at the floor the rock and the light is just beautiful nice and subtle we've got just probably enough fog in the background to help give it a little bit of atmosphere uh, but all in all i think it's worthy of a quick stop so i have to get down quite low um let's get down here and it's a case of the top or I don't know what you'd call it. Let's just say the horizon line <laughs> um, is still going to be on the top third. So I'm still using the rule of thirds. And um, settings are fairly, fairly complicated, I suppose. Again, just because it's quite dark. So there we go. So there's that one sort of dome shaped rock there on the left hand side of the composition. And then everything else just works. You know, the archway takes us round to the other two rocks. There we go. So there's that rule of thirds. Same again, I'm focusing about one third of the way into the image. That's locked in, back button focus. And there we go. ISO 1000, who is this man? F7.1 and 125th of a second. Just get everything off the screen so I can fine tune the composition a little bit. There we go, something like that. And it's probably quite dark in the foreground. You know, look at that. It's a real high dynamic range as you look at it really bright up there. Look how dark it is down here. But I don't mind that. You know, that's what I'm seeing with my own eyes. So I'm probably going to re retain the shadows, keep them as they are. Um, but anyway, I'll take a few more there with the viewfinder. Hopefully that one comes out nice. How many steps are we on, guys? How many steps? 2,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, so look at that. I've got to grab a quick shot of these. This amazing little row of rocks here and then look at that background so that's actually looking back towards the coniferous area of the forest that i was in the pine trees and this just requires a nice quick snap so 16 mil focus on one of the rocks this is the highest iso i've had 1600 f6.3 1 20th of a second but that on the back of the camera at least let's go there a little bit more that looks absolutely gorgeous Yes, really like the look of that one. Really like that actually might be my favourite one of the day, but so much character in these beautiful rocks here. Awesome. It's still foggy. It's been probably about an hour and a half since I spoke to you. Um, it's really beautiful, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to call it a day. Um, I don't want to be out all day and uh, you know me guys, I want my cup of tea. I've had a coffee this morning but I need to get back and have my cup of tea. And uh, quite excited for one or two of these photographs, uh, especially when we were photographing them rocks, them erratics. Uh, but yeah, this has been class. I'll tell you what I've really loved. Um, again, I feel like a bit of a broken record at the minute, I'm sorry, but you know, not using a tripod, but specifically in the woodland, this is something that I would never have done. Not a chance would I have come to a woodland as well of all places without a tripod, but this is great. Hopefully it's shown you guys as well, but it's definitely shown me. It's fine to come anywhere than shoot handheld. You know, I've took a couple of shots that have been, I think ISO 1600, uh, one or two without showing you, probably even higher than that. And it, I don't care, like they're absolutely fine. And I've had a mint little, um, a mint little morning really. And yeah, it's definitely shown me that um, you can still do it in the woodland as well. 
So, thanks so much for tuning in. Please, as always, if you can take a second to give the video a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. And do comment down below. I love to hear from you. Every single comment gets read. I'll see you on the next adventure. Out. Mm -hmm.